I like to play in the upstairs lobby, some, well, in the downstairs lobby sometimes, but the upstairs lobby is just so boring. It's like just orange couches and one computer. Overall, it's definitely been worth it. We were coming hoping for any little changes at all, and we've already seen that, so it's definitely was worth it. We are in Qingdao for five stem cell treatments for Lily's, what? To get my eyes fixed. <laughs> for optic nerve hypoplasia. She was six months old when she was diagnosed, and they said that um, it wasn't a degenerative disease, it wasn't gonna get any better, but it also wouldn't get any worse, but it also wouldn't get any better. She could see light and she did have light perception. She was just fine with light and dark. She saw big, big objects like the shadows. She could see color up close um, to about nose. She could see the colors of things. I'm not, I think, I think her color was only in her left eye. I'm not sure exactly if it was both. I know for sure it she had both. it. It was both. It was both? Yeah. And that it was just kind of something that no treatment glasses don't help. And there was really nothing. And we kind of, you know, lived with it for a while. And we started doing research when she was, I don't know, off and on. We did research for a long time and when this was never around. And then it came up about two years ago that we heard about it. And right away decided that it was something we wanted to do. It was never a question. And, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can say that I would have been one of the first ones to do it. But since there were so many ahead of us, that hadn't seen side effects and that hadn't seen improvement. We thought it was worth it to try. Well, it's overwhelming, that's for sure. We got off the plane and it was, I thought North Dakota was humid. Oh, I said right that day, I said, I'm never gonna complain about that again. There's been positives and negatives, but the positives far away the negatives. Her therapist was awesome. Forrest was wonderful with her and her doctors were great. The nurses were wonderful. Well, um, at first I, hated acupuncture but then um, it got pretty easy for me and I did like the electric wave therapy. Well after her first treatment she was having electric wave therapy in her room and she I think we figured it was about 12 feet she noticed the TV on the wall she asked what the big black square was and I thought you know it's not odd for her to ask what something is but I thought that was further than what she normally will recognize and after that, it's just been little things. I can't, at first I could tell that she was looking for more because she knew obviously that we were here to fix her eyes. But she would, when we were out walking, she would notice little things. She noticed little doorknobs and just random things that she'd never noticed before. It has changed. I'm seeing biggies, big letters. <laughs> I'm excited to get home and for her to be around familiar surroundings. I think that the improvements will show up even more at home when she's around familiar things. Seeing anything different at home is going to be a lot more of a big deal, I think, than here. Or it'll be able to tell us more what she's seeing when she's around familiar surroundings. She had her two, she had a VEP test when we first got here, and then she had another one this week, and it showed improvement. So we're excited to get another one in three to six months to see what that one shows too. Even if she still reads Braille and still uses a cane, any new sight that she gains is gonna help her. Whether it's outside, you know, on the sidewalk, walking down curbs, going upstairs, there's all kinds of little things that will, even seeing new things that she never saw before. Yeah, absolutely, I think it'll impact every day. There's so many new things to see in China. There are, and when you get home, if your eyes are better when you get home, there's gonna be lots of new things to see at home too. Right? Yeah. Yeah.